everyone and welcome again. Today I am making a cranberry sauce with apples and uh, this is actually my recipe that I came up with and it will go great for the holidays. Also with the roast that I made today, this is pork uh, loin with the rosemary that I'll be posting as well. It's really good. So let me begin. So for this recipe, I'm going to use, um, of course, cranberries first. So I have here 12 ounces of washed, and I looked them over to see if there are any bad ones in here. Um, and that's about 340 grams. I'm going to use two apples, and usually I use Granny Smith, but I ran out. So I'm using this, these are Red Delicious apples about two tablespoons of lemon juice here i have apple juice and this is about a cup of the apple juice 100 percent apple juice and then there's a, a half a cup of the granulated white sugar and half a cup of the brown and this is light brown sugar also, I have some cinnamon, so this is about half a teaspoon, and also two cloves, and we're gonna put in a pinch of salt as well. So let me begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the apples. We wanna get the core out, and then peel them. Gonna cut these into little cubes. And these are very soft apples. So my apples are now cut up, and I am going to add the lemon juice in them and give it a stir and now let me go and bring the, the applesauce to boil with the sugars the cinnamon and the cloves and now i'm going to place the apple juice in my medium pot here. Gonna turn the burner on to medium. Place my granulated white sugar and also brown sugar and the cinnamon, cloves, and a pinch of salt. Give this all a good stir. I'm just going to bring this to boil. The sugar has dissolved, but it still didn't boil, so let's just wait a little bit. And so now the sugar and the applesauce have come to boil. So I'm going to add the cranberries and the apples. will start to pop of course and we're gonna let this cook once it comes to boil of course we're gonna let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes in the meantime let's cover this up over medium heat and now it's come to a boil so it's gonna thicken up Bit. Once they start popping, cranberries release a lot of pectin, which will keep it nice 
and thick. I'm gonna let it simmer now for low heat and cover it up again. And we'll take a look in 15 minutes. So now the cranberry sauce has been here on the low heat, maybe simmering for 15 minutes or so. And as you can tell, it is getting thicker. And I'll give it two more minutes and then remove it. And there is my cranberry apple sauce. So if you like this recipe, please give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.